In this assembly, we are going to examine bullying. We're going to explore what we mean by the word, the types of bullying that can exist, the impact it can have on people's lives, and what we can do to tackle bullying and make your time at Chauncey School happy, safe and successful. We work with several organisations, but the Anti-Bullying Alliance promote Anti-Bullying Week in schools each year, and this year the theme is United Against Bullying. Let's be honest. We've all had their moments. You know, the ones where you join in on the joke. You've liked that comment. Taken screenshots. Card names. Whispered. Simply never spoken to someone because no one else does. Sometimes it just goes too far. Sometimes we just let it happen. Sometimes we get caught up in a group or a moment. It may have been your friends that did those things, not you, but that doesn't make it okay. Bullying is not okay. At the end of all this banter, there's someone that goes home each day and thinks about everything going on. When it was a brief daily laugh for you and your mates. What if that was you, your best friend, or maybe even your little sister? Would it still be funny then? What you say and do, or even you don't say or don't do, has an impact. What if that was a positive impact? Let's face it, we live in a whole different world with pressure and expectation. But what comes with that is a power to make change. It's up to all of us to channel that power to make change happen. Don't laugh at that joke. Don't write to that comment. Don't be afraid to speak to someone who nobody else will. Don't evade people's space. Be the person to say that, nah, that wasn't cool. Choose to be an upstander instead of a bystander. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking. If we could collectively make these small choices, what bigger impact it would make. If you stand up against bullying, more and more people will too. If you stand together, your individual voices will come together as one, united. But we all need to play our part. Me. You. Us. The government. Social media. Teachers. Everyone needs to be united, united against, against bullying. bullying. We use the Anti-Bullying Alliance's definition of bullying, which is the repetitive, intentional, hurting of one person or a group of people by another person or a group of people. Bullying often involves an imbalance of power where the perpetrator, that is the person who does the bullying, tries to hurt or put down the victim to make them feel better about themselves. Bullying is often physical, verbal, psychological and we will look at these later. Bullying can happen face to face, through another person, or online. Bullying can have a negative impact on people's lives, as we will see with Louis's story. Bullying can happen to anyone. It is a people problem. 
It can happen to children and adults, regardless of age, gender or ethnicity. It can happen to rich people, poor people and everyone in between. As we'll see, many celebrities have suffered bullying at some point in their lives and they've spoken out against bullying in interviews and in their autobiographies. Bullying can take many forms and ruin lives. The following story shows how bullying can affect a young person's life. everyone's so upset. I mean, what's the problem? It was just a bit of fun. It was just a laugh. It was just a laugh. It was just a laugh.
Bullying can take many forms. Barging in is where bullies force themselves into other people's activities and try and spoil them. This could be stealing a football in the playground or not allowing people to talk in a group. Coercion is where bullies try to get their victims to do things they don't want to do. This could be stealing money or items from a shop. It could be hitting other children on behalf of the bully. People often coerce others by threatening them with violence. Physical bullying involves hitting, kicking, slapping, pushing, spitting or using any other physical force to intentionally hurt someone. Verbal bullying is usually name calling, saying unkind things or making threats without any provocation. Cyberbullying is when technology is used to carry out the bullying behaviour. This can be through text or instant messages, through social media platforms, by email, websites or by prank calling. It can even happen through online gaming, in chat and messaging. Sexting is taking sexualized photos or videos of yourself and sending them on to someone else, usually a boyfriend or girlfriend. Quite often they will share your photo with others, which causes shame and embarrassment. Sometimes these photographs appear on websites and social media. People can use these photographs to blackmail the victim. This is telling them to give them money or the photo will be posted online or shared with family. The police consider all indecent images of under 18 year olds to be child pornography, which is illegal. Homophobic and transphobic bullying usually occurs when someone's sexuality or gender is different to others and bullies either disagree with this or they just don't understand it. It is against the law to discriminate against someone because of their gender or sexuality. Racism is where people are singled out because of the colour of their skin, their ethnicity, their culture, their accent or even their name. Racism can take many forms include name calling, making jokes, excluding or isolating people from friendships and imitating accents. At Chauncey we believe that a racist incident is any incident which is perceived to be racist by the victim or any other person. Jake's story is a BBC animation that has been created using a verbal account from a student who has suffered bullying. I'm 12 and I've had really bad experiences with bullying. When I was six or seven, and we were just so happy, talking, laughing, also sitting all together. And then my mum and dad got divorced. The, the house was sold and we moved. The first day, it was just like an induction day, just to see if I wanted to go. It was all fine, everyone was nice. They would invite me to play football. And then I just thought, like, I'm really getting accepted. They actually, like, wanted to be friends with me. And then it all just went just really bad. Every time I'd go to school, someone would call me names. It didn't really go to my mind at first, but then after a while, they were saying something about my family and it would just get me down. They wouldn't invite me to the games. They would try to fight me, swearing at me. I was just playing football with me and my friend. He was the only person that play, would play with me. And then they just came over. They would say, don't play with him. They had a baseball bat and smashed me in the chest. Fell on the floor crying. I just felt like my hair wasn't right, my shoes wasn't right. I like try to show off, like bring get a new haircut. Um, I would try to get new shoes, but nothing. At break time, I'd sit in the sit on my own in the corner, thinking I don't want to be here. Just put my hands in my head like that. Probably cry. I'd come home and I wouldn't talk to my mom. I wouldn't tell anyone. I would just cry in my bed and my mum would come in saying what's happened or say I've hurt myself or something, make an excuse. I was so embarrassed. 
I just felt like no one would believe me. I was just like, cause it was so bad, I thought everyone would just say I'm lying. Sometimes I'd come home and I felt like I wasn't safe. I'd just keep on checking out the window. It just, I was scared to leave the door open. I'd always have nightmares in the night. I'd wake up, go into my mum's room crying, saying I've had nightmares. It went on for about two, three years. I felt like this is going to be my life. This is what I'm going to go through for the rest of my life. It's hard to explain. It's, you wouldn't think anyone could go through something like this. Unbearable, the pain. I'll do the army cadets now. There's no incidents there with bullying or... But if anything does, get out of hand there, say sorry and uh, be all all right. Since I've been there, I can do things better than other people. I've had the drill test and I've passed that first try. The military knowledge test passed that first try. Badges of rank test first try. Air rifle test passed first try. First aid test passed first try. And I've got the highest marks out of everyone. It like, makes me feel I'm doing, I'm doing good for once. Everything's better, but I'm still the old person. Because the bullying's happened for so long. It's like, it's just added a new part to me. I want to build awareness of the bullying so I can just make these people think, look what you're doing to people. You're pushing them, flooring and calling their names. Even just giving them a dirty look might really hurt them. You know, I just feel like it's always going to be with me. Then I feel like I've got, I'm friends with so many people now. They'll all back me up no matter what. The impacts of bullying on the victim can be devastating. Bullying can affect how people achieve at school, or at work, or how they live their lives. It can even lead to suicide when the victim feels that there's no other way to stop the bullying. Natasha McBride was a talented, bright and hard-working 15-year-old schoolgirl who had an excellent school record and a brilliant future. She was bullied because of this, unfortunately, and sadly, she took her own life in February 2011 by lying down in front of a train after receiving hate messages from bullies over a period of time. Childline offers some excellent advice to victims of bullying. They suggest telling someone, a friend, a parent, a teacher, or even Childline themselves if they're being bullied. Childline have a dedicated website and you can speak to them by calling 0800 1111. Avoid bullies where possible on the way to and from school, in the school corridors, and when you are out with friends. Do not fight back, as quite often the bully will get the victim into trouble if they hit back. Don't reply to abusive messages. Screen grab the content and tell someone. Block the bully if you can, so they cannot message you. Keep a record of the bullying, so that you have evidence if you need to tell the school or the police. Don't do what they want. You might think that they'll be your friend or stop the bullying, but this is about power and control and usually the bullying gets worse. Talk to your teachers. The school has an anti-bullying policy and we will help. Bullying is unacceptable and should not be tolerated. A business in the adult world would not tolerate in the bullying behavior that some children have to suffer each day. <laughs> this is an adult, so why should a child? We are a telling school. If you're being bullied, tell someone. 
we will try to help you resolve the problem so that you feel safe, are at happy at school and go on to be very successful here. If you're bullying someone at present, have a word with yourself. Seek help if you've got problems. Making someone feel small doesn't make you any bigger. Most people resent bullies and bullying behaviour. You are in the minority. We work best when we work together, united against bullying.